In 1989, our first guest went on a fateful date with a charming Muslim immigrant from Kenya and had no idea that it would lead to her one day being First Lady of the United States. You can read all about her history-making life in this new memoir called Becoming. Please say hello to Michelle Obama. <laughs> You see how, <laughs> you see how much we miss you? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we really, where did you go? <laughs> we're, he, we're here. We're, just yeah. in a, we're, we're in another house. Yeah. <laughs> we need you back in the old house. Well, there are other people living there. How is unemployment going? Are you embracing yeah. it? Yeah, it's yeah. going okay. And I was just trying to think of what we've been doing, but truthfully, we're boring. <laughs> you know, I, we have a teenager at home, mm -hmm. and she makes us feel inadequate every day. Nice. So well, we, our, well, we our self-esteem is low. Can I tell you how we feel? <laughs> we feel like, do you remember the first Superman movie, Christopher Reeve? Yeah. When he gave up his powers to save Lois Lane's life, <laughs> and then he was powerless, and yeah. then he got beat up in a diner, and yeah. then he had to get his powers back yes. to come save us from Lex Luthor? <laughs> That's what we need from what? you and your husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, there's this thing called the Constitution. Oh, we've dispensed with that already, yeah, haven't right. we? <laughs> what is he doing right now? Like, right now, what is My he up husband? to? My husband? Yes. Oh, he's probably in his hole in our new house. In his office? Writing. He's working on his book. Can yeah. I tell you, when I was reading uh -huh. about you mentioning in your book that his mm -hmm. office is messy and disorganized. Oh, it God, gave yes. me license to have a messy and disorganized <laughs> office because my wife What's gets it upset. Was like that before? Oh, it's a disaster. But now I feel like, well, yeah. Yeah, so the is, president. Yeah, the president does that yeah, too. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Clean well, up. It your seems office. to me, and <laughs> it's annoying. Are you sending I'm, a message for to your husband through me? No, is that I'm, it's, it's get your me? stuff together. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could, I really do. <laughs> it appears, based on social media, that you are really following Beyonce around the country, going to her concert. Yes. Is that what, it's what's an happening now? It's activity, <laughs> let me tell you. Yeah, yeah. Besides your husband and daughters, with which celebrity do you text most often? Ooh, um, you know, there's, I, I'm not gonna tell you because oh, really? then, you know, it's like you don't text and tell. That's not a thing. I started That's to not, do You that. just made that up. <laughs> it depends on what's going on lately because uh -huh. Oprah kicked off uh, the right. book tour and she was an early reader. I've been doing a lot of texting. Gail is a worrier, so a lot of times she'll call like, what the... Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so Oprah it, and Gail, that's Oprah pretty Gail, solid. Th those two. <laughs> You said Barack is working on his book right now. Did yeah. you guys ever have a situation where you fight over an anecdote? Like, it's like, I wanted that for my book. You know, I, since my book was first, he's, he lost he, on So all you of get that. first dibs on all that. On all the good stuff. And would it cause a rift in your relationship if Oprah doesn't put his book in her book club because she did it with yours? It might hurt his feelings, but he'll get over it. <laughs> The book is number one on Amazon. That's got to be know. an exciting thing for you. <laughs> yeah. By a, a lot, I would imagine. Was it fun to write the book? It, it was more fun than I thought. Um, because here's the thing. Rarely does anybody get time and they get paid to reflect. Right, and, that's and true. Re and reflecting, I find, is, is very important. Um, because the truth is, is that for the last decade, there was no time to even really think about what just happened to us. You know, a I write about the fact that, you know, the week would start, something amazing would happen, 
And then by the end of the week, I would have forgotten all about that other amazing thing. I mean, our days were full. We were, we were just inundated. So coming out of the White House, it, you needed that time to take stock and say, what just happened? What was that? Um, yeah. And this book allowed me to do that and to really understand what those eight years meant to me personally and how it fit into the context of the rest of my life. Yeah. So that was something I needed. It was therapeutic for me. And such a big part of your, your family, your daughters being yeah, so yeah. young when... How old were your daughters on the day you, they you were, started living in the White House? They were 7 and 10, and I hope I get that right, because that's... <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but they, li they lived in the White House longer than they lived in any house that we lived in. Your mom moved in, mm -hmm. lived there the whole eight years with you. Reluctantly, but Reluctantly. She, she stayed. <laughs> She, she tried stay. to get out. It's like, nope, <laughs> lock the door. At what year in. did she try to get out? How far in? Oh, you know, she felt like by the time she wasn't taking the girls to school every day, they were both in middle school, she thought, I can go, right? And I was like, nope, not yet. You stay here. You stay here. So we let her go home in the summer. <laughs> it's like, you can have a summer break, but you got to come back. And I would call her. It's like, you're coming back, right? <laughs> She... If and when Sasha or Malia become president of the United States. Oh, God, States. that will never happen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say never. I can <laughs> say never with those two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would not move in with them, or would you move in with them to help them? I would. You have to now. Well, if they had kids. I yeah, mean, well, that's sure. The only... My mother wasn't helping me. She was helping her grandchildren. Gotcha. So, yeah. I understand. I, I, I would, because they would need the help. Did Bo the White House dog know he was the White House dog? You know, he acted like he did. Mm -hmm. He's an odd... <laughs> he's an odd dog, because... And Barack, you know, he criticizes Bo a little bit because he is <laughs> odd. Um, he has an aloofness to him. It's uh -huh. almost sort of like, don't touch me. <laughs> I am a beau. Don't you know who I am? I mean, he would prance around the White House. He had a schedule. Both the dogs did. They would get picked An up. An official in the schedule? Yeah, I would do uh, briefing requests for them. Um, they, I, they had to get my permission, but I would find, you know, in my briefing book, it would be mm -hmm. Can Bo and Sonny stop by this press event at 2 30? <laughs> no, there would be a time. <laughs> and I had to approve of it. Um, so they'd get picked up and they'd hang out with the gardeners for the day. And uh -huh. they were very, like, when they were home, I, they were mommy's dogs. But if they were working with the fellas, they would ignore me. It's just sort of like, don't, my, don't touch me. I'm at work. I'm busy. One of the most interesting things I learned from your book is that the present first lady family, you have to pay for your food yeah. while you're in the White House. Go figure. I, that's yeah. crazy to me. Well, you know... It is and it isn't. It's crazy because you don't know it, and most people don't know what it's like to live in the White House. So, you know, only 45 families have done it. Yeah. Um, but truth, the rent is free, staff is free. You know, we, we shouldn't be mooching off of the taxpayers. But, so you're okay with that? Yeah, but it's a little shocking because nobody really tells you this stuff. And yeah. then they let you get whatever you want. Um, like, if you say you want some exotic fruit, yes, ma'am, we'll get that right away. And then you get the bill for a peach. <laughs> And it's like, that was a $500 piece. <laughs> you know, I would tell Barack, Barack, do not express pleasure for anything until I, unless I know how much it costs. Wow. <laughs> so they're very responsive at your expense. Uh, yeah. So, I, well, yeah. Just... But I, in all fairness, it's like the taxpayers should, you know, if we want a certain kind of jam in the, uh, or jelly, we should pay for that. Yeah, but um, if you're going smuckers, it should be free. Right. <laughs> All right. We're going to get into other important things that are in this book. The book is called Becoming. Michelle Obama is here with us. We'll be right back. Michelle Obama is here. But, Cleto, I do want to say, Mrs. Obama gave you guys a very nice oh, compliment oh, yeah. during, the, uh, during the break. And, and you mentioned in the book that the first album you ever got, your dad bought you, was Stevie Wonder. Stevie! Yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah. yeah, well, my grandfather, Southside. Oh, your grandfather. Yeah, oh, yeah. Southside was... or... E was it East Side? He was West, it was West, West Side. side. Gotcha. This is what me and my brother dis distinguished between my maternal grandfather and my paternal grandfather. One lived on the South Side and one lived on the West Side. And he was West Side until he moved to the South Side and he became South Side. <laughs> you can read all about it. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you wanted to get someone in your husband's administration fired, how would you... <laughs> 
Why, How would you why, do why that? Why do you ask? <laughs> just curious, why just wondering you, if there's somebody that ask? rubbed you the wrong way. <laughs> would you send them a letter? We had wonderful people in our administration. <laughs> we, and you we, never we, had a situation not like that? Once. <laughs> not even once. I don't believe that for a second. But <laughs> we play a game almost every day here at our show, and uh -huh. then my wife and I play it at home. It, the game is doesn't really have a title, but it's basically called "What If Obama Had Done This." Oh God, we play that at home too. You do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was really my question. Do you play that one at home? Yeah, quite quite often. <laughs> I know. Um, I know you've said repeatedly you will not run it, it run for office. But has anyone ever really like seriously approached you and tried to convince you to run for office? All the time. Like I mean now. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm talking about like the head of the committee or, or oh, Barack yeah. or Hillary no, or somebody no, like that. Barack keeps those people away from me. He does. So, yeah, no, no, we, I've never had any serious conversations with anyone about it because it's not something that I'm interested in or would ever do, ever. You said something very interesting I thought about your husband in your book is that on high pressure days, mm -hmm. he would be at his most relaxed and he would be the friendliest on those days. Why do you think that is? On his busiest days? Yeah. Because that, that's what fuels him. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, uh, he's a grinder, you know, I think. And, you know, he may be, uh, I, I think he feels most fulfilled when he's full, when his plate is full. I call him a, a, a plate spinner, you know, those jugglers that, keep spinning those plates, and if one is starting to wobble, he sp spins it, and if everything's going okay, then he'll put another plate up. I think he gets his energy. Is he doing that. that at home now? Like, literally, with it, the china? Right. <laughs> <laughs> no. He is not, not doing that at home. <laughs> Do you have a secret, like, Instagram or uh, Facebook or p page like well, that? Well, if I told you, it wouldn't be a secret. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I you mean, don't... I'm barely good at that stuff. Um, any, anyway, I mean, I, I have an Instagram ac account and a Twitter account, obviously, but, I, you, you know, I, I have to get permission to use it I from see. my staff. <laughs> they don't trust me with it, so. Speaking of permission, in the book, you talked about three kids. One of them uh, was a girl named Dee Dee who you fought. She was a bully, and you fought her. My first fight. First mm -hmm. fight. Then there was a boyfriend you smoked pot with. Uh-huh. And then there was a boyfriend that you broke up with because his, his goal, his career goal, was to become a mascot for, like, the Cleveland Browns or something, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you call those people beforehand or reach out to them in some way to go, guess what? No, no. No. No, I did. And I didn't use last names for that reason, although some people will know who they are. Yeah, right. So it's up to them to out themselves. Um, but, but I did give books to send books to everybody with kind of a nice note, like, thank you for helping me become. <laughs> okay. Did Dee Dee get a book? I think so. We're trying to track everybody oh. down. Yeah. So, because these are people, you know, this was in childhood. This didn't happen yesterday. I wasn't fighting in the right. backyard. Right, like yeah. yeah, when I was a little kid. So it takes a second to, like, find everybody. Um, so I'm not sure if everybody's gotten a book, but we've tried to get everybody a book. Gotcha. And then if they call and they want to fight again because yeah, of... Then the pay-per-view. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> you had to be very careful when you're a first lady. I spoke to yeah. your husband about this also mm -hmm. because he he jokes around a lot, mm -hmm. but then you realize, like, oh, I, I have to maybe reel it in because yeah. of the position I have. Mm -hmm. But you're not first lady anymore. I am not. And as far as I'm concerned, you can cut loose and really say anything now, right? <laughs> Yes. So what I've done is I, I've got a what series have, of cards here. What have you done? I've written some things down, and if you are... You've written some stuff Yes, down. if you're game for this... Okay. Maybe um, here are some things that you could say now that you are... So you want me to just look at those cards and just read what you Don't even you look at said. them. Just read what I wrote. Yeah. Okay. Start with that one, all right? And look at the camera right there so we feel... Uh, which which camera? Here? Oh, look at that one. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I've I've never eaten a vegetable. I knew it. I knew it. There's another one. That's not true. Mm -hmm. The whole eight years we were in the White House, we used Laura Bush's Netflix password. Really? Wow. The revelation. 
Laura, sorry. <laughs> Send me the bill. <laughs> there you go. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure which one's Sasha and which one's Malia. <laughs> <laughs> they agree. <laughs> they get so mad every time I mess their names up. I'm like, who are you? Hard to be in a parent. The game that Sasha plays with me is that when we're with a lot of people, she'll call me mom, mom, mom. And I, I you know, I don't hear her. And she's like, Michelle, Michelle Obama. <laughs> and I look up and she's like, see? <laughs> all right, couple more. All right. These all right. are important. I stole the phrase, when they go low, we go high from the back of a Snapple cap. <laughs> Two more. <laughs> Barry, be quiet and hold my purse. <laughs> and your final go, oh, outrageous yeah. statement to make now that you're no longer first lady. Clooney is my freebie. <laughs> Michelle Obama, everyone. This is her book, Becoming. It is available now. I am Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button, so please click now. I'm hungry.